Hi everyone, my name is Millie Nice and I'm an illustrator. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw three dancing mice, inspired by the Sky original Roald and Beatrix, the tale of the curious mouse. For this drawing, you're going to need a piece of paper and I'm going to make a little practice drawing just to show you how we're going to draw our mice today. So I use a planning pencil. In this video, I'm using a red one so you can see what I'm doing, but I recommend using something like a yellow or if you don't have coloured pencils, just pressing very lightly with your pencil to begin with as we start to mark out our shapes. We're going to do an outline a bit later on when our mouse comes to life, but to begin with, we just want to plan things out in a different colour. So when you are ready to draw your mouse, we are going to start with a kidney bean. All our mice today are going to start as kidney beans. We're going to draw them upright since they're having a bit of a dance and we're going to draw them in all different poses. So different kinds of kidney beans. We need to add their heads. Mice's heads tend to be fairly large, fairly round and on top of their bodies. So not a lot of neck. So we're going to draw them nice and round and just on top. To turn them into mouse heads, we need to add some nice long noses and I'm doing mine in all different directions since they are dancing around. I think they're going to be looking in different directions as well. I'm going to add their ears nice and round, a mouse's ears on top of their head. And I'm just adding two ears, one in the front and then another one just behind. Now we need to give them some arms and legs and I'm going to reuse my kidney bean technique sort of using half kidney beans here, smaller than the other ones, to make their arms and legs. Now this is the fun bit. You can start to come up with some really great dance moves for your mice, give them a little bit of personality, make sure they're wiggling and jiggling all over this page. Don't worry at this stage if you make a mistake or you put a line in the wrong place. That's why we do the planning lines really, so you can change them, or you can kind of work things out as you're going. So we have the start of our picture. We're going to add some outlines to our mice and we're going to add some detail. So I'm going to start with a little nose and eye, giving them a little bit of a face and a nice big smile. They are dancing around, having a good time. I want you to follow the lines we've already drawn, picking out the ones you need. I'm going around the edge of the ear, giving it a little fold um, and then joining up that arm to the rest of the body going all around those edges, using the lines that I like, ignoring the ones that I don't want if you did change them as you go. And don't worry if it's not exact as you go around. That's why we do our planning. We're going to add some little arms and legs. We're going to make them dance around our page, really have a good time. And since these are fashionable mice, we're going to give them a scarf as well. It is cold out there after all. Now this is the stage you really bring your little mice to life. You're giving them excellent little dance moves, fun little facial expressions, you can give them something to do. I gave mine a little bit of a clap and lots of bright scarves. And don't forget the little wiggly tail. Once you've created some mice you're happy with, it's time to give them a little bit of colour. I'm colouring my mice in brown and grey. I'm using some realistic mouse colours. There's nothing stopping you from going a little crazy with your colours and having some fun at this stage. I'm using my pencil on its side. It gives it a nice furry texture, makes it look like real mouse fur. And I'm colouring them in, but leaving little soft white bits for their bellies and giving them nice pink ears as well. And when it comes to those scarves, make sure you're making them look nice and fashionable using some nice bright colour and pattern to bring those mice to life. And there you have your three dancing mice. Thanks for watching and drawing along. And don't forget to tune in to Roald and Beatrix, the tale of the curious mouse, this Christmas on Sky.